All right. Uh, welcome to Wismo Technologies. Uh, this is Malikarjan here. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I request you to subscribe my channel and keep watching my channel for the latest update. All right. Uh, getting uh, into the demo session here for today. Uh, this is on the one of the topic for Oracle and Windows. So most of the times we DBA always used to connect a database using SQL plus slash SS DBA with the OS authentication. And sometimes the OS authentication is not working and it will not allow us to connect to database saying invalid username and password and log on denied. So this is the issue what I reproduced in one of my lab environment. And the root cause for this particular issue is why I'm unable to connect to database using SQL plus SS DBA using a OS authentication. Why OS authentication is not working? Why it is reporting this invalid username and password? The reason behind that is whatever this administrator group where or administrator user where I logged into my Windows server with the administrator user, that administrator user is not part of this Vara DBA group. And we need to add this administrator user to this Vara DBA group so that this administrator user can able to connect to my database using this SQL plus SSDBA using OS authentication. Not only administrator group, any Windows user, if you add them into our DBA group, they should be able to connect using SQL plus SSDBA with the OS authentication. So quickly jump on to my lab environment. I logged into my lab here. Let's see, let's quickly check the user, which user I logged in. Right now I logged in here as an administrator account. I can quickly get the command prompt. Right now, before that, let's say, check, make sure that your database services are all running. Right now here, Oracle, Oracle service 19C, this is the one which is installed with the local system account, local admin account. I'm gonna use that Oracle 19C database for the demonstration. I connected to my command line here. Let's quickly try to connect. So I'm going to set the Oracle home. Let's copy that one. Oracle home and then Oracle SID. And then now we can try to connect using SQL plus SSDBA. You should be able to connect because I have already added this administrator user to this Vara DBA group. Let's try to connect that one. I'm able to connect to my database. Fair enough. Let's verify that one. So just type a uh, groups, edit local users and groups, and I'm going to go to groups. And then now I'm interested in this Vara DBA group. Let's open that Vara DBA group. And if you see here, Vara DBA group, administrator is part of that Vara DBA group. Now I'm going to remove that administrator. Now the ad administrator user is not part of that Vara DBA group. So now I can quickly, give me a second, now I can quickly apply, save it. Now let's go back here, exit from here. Now try to connect, same SQL plus SSDBA command line. And this time it's gonna say that invalid username and password because we have removed that administrator user from Vara DBA group. Again, I can quickly go back to that groups, Vara DBA. I can add that same administrator group. I'm not going to go with a domain account. I'll search for my local computer right here. And then I can say administrator, check the name, add it. Now this administrator local admin account is part of Vara DBA group. Apply, save. Now let's try to connect it. Apero, connect it, then you should be able to connect to the Oracle database. And that's a quick demo for today's session, how we can deal with this OS authentication, which is reporting invalid username and password. That is precisely the user is missing from that particular Vara DBA group. All right, let's wrap it up for today. Let's connect on our new session with a new topic. Thank you.